Hello, in today's video we're going to take a look at how to interpret the meanings of equations in word problems and we're going to be working through some word problems that might be similar to the ones that you will see on the star test. So let's take a look first at how to interpret those meanings of equations in word problems. There are five steps we're going to go through. The first step, we're going to read the problem. The second step, we're going to write down what those variables, what those letters in that equation we're going to be given mean. We're going to reread the equation using those definitions, how we defined it. And then we're going to reread the equation asking ourselves, hey, what does each part of the equation mean in this question? And finally, we're going to read the answer choices and pick the one that's the best fit. Now that you've read the problem, the next step is to write down the definitions of those variables. So we've got two variables, C and W, they're the two letters inside of the equation. And we need to find somewhere in the description or in the word problem where they tell us what those letters mean. So you read back through the problem, Postal United is the Postal Service, they're offering a shipping special this holiday season. Okay, nothing about C and W there. A customer can ship any package up to 10 pounds for only $14.99. Nothing about C there or W. If a package exceeds 10 pounds in weight, then the function describes the shipping charge C. Oh, that's interesting. The function describes the shipping charge C in dollars. Well, right there, they defined for us, they told us what C is. C is the shipping charge. Okay, we can go ahead and write that down. Shipping charge. In terms of W, the total weight of the package. Oh, great. They told us what W is, too. They said, in terms of W, the total weight of the package. So we know W, and this is important that you use the word total, because it indicates the entire weight of the package. Not part of the package, but the whole thing. So the total weight of the package. After we define those variables, our third step is to reread the equation with those definitions in it. So we're going to go back through, and we're going to read it one more time, the equation that is. And this time, we're going to use the descriptions of those letters. So remember, C was the tripping charge in dollars. So we're going to read that. When we see C, we're going to think charge in dollars. So the shipping charge in dollars is equal to... 2 times the total weight of the package minus 10 and then plus 14.99. So let's read that one more time. C, the shipping charge, is going to be equal to 2, so twice, the weight of the package minus 10 plus 14.99. So what do you suppose minus 10 is? Since the weight of the package is in pounds, when they subtract 10 from the weight of the package, what do you suppose they are doing? Well, the answer is, well, they are taking 10 pounds away from the total weight. Huh? Well, we'll get there in a second. So let's go back up and read it. See what's going on. A customer can ship any package up to 10 pounds for only $14.99. If the package exceeds 10 pounds in weight, Oh, so the W is telling us that this equation is only working when the weight of the package is over 10 pounds. So if the weight of the package is over 10 pounds, then we're going to subtract 10 pounds from the total weight, multiply by 2, and the last part is add 14.99. Hmm. Well, since C stands for the total charge, that means that the 14.99 must be the 14.99 that you're always being charged. Okay, so our next step, after we have read the problem, we've reread the equation using the definitions. We're going to move on to the last part where we discussed what each part of the equation meant, and we just got through doing that in part when we talked about what that minus 10 means and what the 1499 means. So again, let's look at that one last time. The total charge of the package is equal to 2, so twice, the total weight of the package minus 10 pounds, 
plus $14.99, which we were charged initially. So there's the whole equation. Once you understand the equation, then we can get on to the multiple choice portion, which deals with picking the best answer. So let's go ahead and read through the multiple choices. A, it costs $2 per pound to ship a package regardless of the package's total weight. Y'all, is that true? So we take a look at it. The charge of the package is equal to two times the weight of the package minus 10 plus $14.99. No, no, that can't be true because this function only works if the package exceeds 10 pounds in weight. So if the package weighed like eight or nine pounds, it's not gonna cost $2 per pound to ship. It says the customer can ship any package for $14.99, so it's not $2 per pound. Okay, let's take a look at the next answer choice. The first 10 pounds cost $2 per pound each, after which there is an additional charge of $14.99. All right, the first 10 pounds cost $2 each pound. Well, that's not true, because if the first 10 pounds cost $2 each, how much did you pay for the first 10 pounds? Well, the answer is $20, 2 times 10, $20, plus $14.99. That doesn't fit this function at all. And the first 10 pounds don't cost $2 each. The first 10 pounds only cost us $14.99 total, so that can't be right. Let's take a look at the next one. If the total weight of the package is more than 10 pounds, then every single pound costs $2. This one's a bit tricky. So the total weight of the package, if it weighs more than 10 pounds, then every, cost, every pound costs two dollars. Let's if we look at this, you'll notice that the function says two dollars times the weight of the package minus ten. It's not every single pound. We're not being charged two dollars per pound for every single pound. We're being charged two dollars per pound for every pound over that exceeds ten pounds in weight. See two times the weight of the package minus ten. So we're being charged two dollars per pound for every pound of the package over 10 pounds, not every single pound. So the first 10 pounds only cost us $14.99. Well, let's go to that last answer choice. If the total weight of the package is more than 10 pounds, then every pound more than 10 pounds costs $2. And there we go, we finally got it because two times the weight of the package minus 10. So every pound over 10 pounds, if we put like 11 into this equation, we'd be charged $2 just for that one pound, because 11 minus 10 is one, one times two is two. So for every pound over 10 pounds, we're being charged $2 per pound. And it doesn't tell us in D, but it's true that we also have to add the $14.99 shipping charge. But D is the best answer because every other answer had something wrong with it. D is the best answer even though it doesn't mention the $14.99. So, in this case, D would be the correct answer. Here's one for you to try on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, work it out, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. All right, so as you're reading through it, you notice that Eddie's Towing Company charges $100 to hook a vehicle to the tow truck and tow it for the first five miles. So that's an initial fee. You're being charged no matter what for the first five miles. The company then charges $6.50 for every mile the vehicle is towed over 5 miles. Okay, so every mile over 5 miles, we're charged $6.50. If a vehicle is towed more than 5 miles, the function below represents the total charge C to tow a vehicle a total of M miles. All right, so a lot to take in, but hopefully you read it, and then you defined what C and what M meant. C should be the total charge. M is the total number of miles being towed. So let's go read through the answer choices. If a vehicle is towed more than five miles, it costs six fifty for every mile towed. Well, taking a look at it, if it's towed more than five miles, okay. So we know that we have the number of miles minus five. So the total number of miles minus five 
times 650 plus 100 dollars initial fee always so let's see hmm. cost 650 per mile every mile towed well that doesn't really fit because if you're towed more than five miles it does cost 650 per mile but it only costs 650 per mile for every mile over the first five miles so that doesn't work okay it costs 650 per mile to tow a vehicle for the first five miles and then an additional hundred dollar charge for any mile after that well that doesn't work because you're not being charged six dollars and fifty cents per mile to tow the vehicle for the first five miles you're only being charged if we go back and read the description in the in the problem it tells us that it's a hundred dollars to tow for the first five miles so that's not right because it says you're being charged 650 per mile. So it doesn't work either. Okay. If a vehicle's towed more than five miles, then it costs 650 for every mile over five miles. Well that sounds pretty reasonable because 650 times the number of miles minus five. So we take the how many of our miles you've been towed, take five away and we multiply by 650. So that works. Every mile over five miles you're gonna be charged 650 per mile for. So that looks like a pretty good answer. Let's come back to it after we read D. D says it always costs 650 per mile to tow a vehicle regardless of the number of miles the vehicle is towed. Well, that can't be true. You're only being charged 650 for every mile over 5 mile according to our equation because it's M minus 5. The total number of miles take 5 miles away and then multiply by 650. So C is completely the correct choice.